Hey guys, how's it going on? I apologize about my voice. Uh, I'm still recovering from uh, a week worth of, uh, you know, flu, I guess. Um, feeling much better, thank God. But uh, it makes me think that while I was, you know, off work, uh, for those who might not know, I do this YouTube thing as a side thing, mostly in the weekends. But... Uh, I have a full-time job, nine to five, and I go to work and do all sorts of developer, engineer, you know, software engineer stuff that most of you do, right? So uh, it makes me think during this absence, I was really stressed and had a lot of pressure to get things rolling while I was sick. And made me think, like, why am I doing this? You know, it's like, I'm sick, right? But there's some side guilt inside me that feels, okay, I have to do something about it. There's a pressure, there's an implicit pressure somehow that I need to get uh, this customer sorted out and this bug fixed on this feature documented. And gotta do all the architecture, I gotta design this feature, gotta work on this diagram. So so all of these, stuff, I, gotta, I gotta identify this particular bottleneck. All of these things are, you know, putting some sort of a pressure on me to to quickly identify and fix. And, and this kind of pressure made me think like, this is kind of affecting my physical health, making me feel worse. And at the same time, affect my mental health because all of I do is just think about work and work and work do it while I was sick. So it makes me think it's like, maybe it's worth to talk about, you know, in general, developer mental health, you know, and how do we kind of survive this? How do we take it easy, if you will? And um, and don't take this video as an instruction set that will cure mental health when it comes to development. No, I don't believe there is a solution, to be honest, right? Because it's just, if, if there is, then... Uh, there won't be any mental health, right? When it comes to development and any anything really. There won't be any any problems, right? There was a solution. So what I what I rather do is just sh try to shed the light on what causes this fatigue, what causes the pressure, what causes the stress, what causes this mental health issues, if you will. And that's what I'd like to talk in the, about in this video. How about we jump into it and discuss? Obviously, this is all my personal anecdotes and not really a doctor or have any degree of some sort. So I'm just explaining my own personal thing. So I, I believe each of us has their own unique experiences and no one of us can come up with a se selection sets of things that you can do that cures everything you know and then solves everything so i believe each one of us should find that comfort zone uh of what they need to do to forge their own path to reduce these issues as much as possible or work around them that's what I personally believe. So how about we discuss the first one point, which is working long hours. And just saying that, working long hours, I don't believe that's enough. You know, longing, working long hours does not mean uh, definitely a recipe for disaster per se. Most cases, maybe, yeah. But... I believe if you are working long hours because you are forced to, because you have something that is really annoying and you're forced to do it because there's no other way around it, you have to do it. So you're working long hours to do it, to fix this bug or to finish this feature, then I believe that will have a side effect on your mental health because that you're not doing this off of, you know, genuine desire to do it. It's not a, it's not a side effect, you know, not wor working long hours 
shouldn't be oh, i'm gonna work long hours because i'm awesome you know not like that it's just it just happen if you really and, and a lot of you might relate to this if you are working on a on a program or code or certain piece of design and and you you watch the clock and it's 4 p.m it's like what happened to the time to me i don't call that working long hours right well it is working long hours but it doesn't seem like working long hours so you don't feel it does that have physical side effect on you maybe right but i feel so refreshed after you know working on something that i'm completely immersed on so yeah i believe working large long number of hours really and, and long is also relative right what does that mean is it eight hours is it 24 hours you know i i, I honestly i can't work more than you know on a single thing for more than straight eight hours you know maybe i'm getting older i'm, I'm approaching my 40s very soon but uh in general i i find it you know better to take a break after you know six hours you know to do something else and then come back right but uh that might not be the case for you know programming task for programming tasks you need you need a continuous flow and if while coding you most of the time don't feel the time it just passes out by real real fast as you code and debug and code and debug and code and debug and the time passes really fast so you don't really feel the hours but definitely it is at the end of the day if you're doing something you you're not interested in uh that time is felt physically on you and by physically i mean both mentally and obviously in physical health as well the second thing is uh pressure you know another thing we've noticed like we talked about so the second thing i want to talk about is is the idea of pressure here we are pressured to get something finished within certain time frame right this is most companies right it's like hey i want this feature by this date you know and if you, if you're really well you know you, you're good at what you do you most of the time you might finish before that date especially if you're the one who estimated that thing right which is most companies they will sh they should let you estimate you know you're the coder you're the developer you're the designer you should be able to estimate or, or help in the estimation and set expectations as a result but uh if 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 there is a, a specific time frame that is unrealistic so especially if there is like a time frame that is kind of unrealistic and you're asked to fix a bug right and by this time frame and for some reason i i i personally didn't face that but i'm i can just think through it and talk through what can happen if you have a manager like this right that they say okay you have to fix this bug by this particular time frame and that's the end of the story you imagine can you imagine the amount of pressure that you can get right because your job is on the line your mental health is on your line your physical health is on the line so yeah if you have unrealistic expectations right that kind of leads to a huge amount of pressure and stress right because now you have to meet that unrealistic timeline because you have to and as a result you start you know going through all the possible worst case scenarios and and that kind of takes a toll on the body i guess right if you think about it and i believe just talking through these things helps you know just just talking about why am i tired why am i frustrated why am i exhausted you know if you are in that state you ask these questions it's like why am i frustrated why am i thinking about this you know 
just asking these questions will kind of open up a path to to let you do what you need to do to solve this problem you know and i, I don't believe this path looks the same for everybody it's everybody will look different you know? and the and the, the the third point here is is expectation as well that's another one you know expectation is one of the ones that that has nothing to do with management it's it's a self induced uh phenomena if you will you know i write a certain um, uh, a certain code and then i send it for code review i have expectation right and you might say Hussein, i don't expect anything no you you do you might uh, externally you might not but internally you do have there is some something inside you have a slight expectation that either it will look great the senior developer or the senior whoever person reviewing that will love it or they will just so look good to me or or they will effectively uh, just uh, 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 trash it all you know or you know they will absolutely love it you know all these expectation whether good or bad you know they lead to the same situation disappointment and fear if you will there's an internal fear and this leads to anxiety and anxiety leads to stress and stress leads to all sorts of issues you know you're gonna have a lot of issues as a result but uh if you think about it expectation in general not just code reviews was one example right expectation that your manager is gonna love the presentation expectation that your uh you are going to write a code that is bug free or doesn't have any bugs right and as a result because you expect something that indirectly creates you know fear because I am expecting something and I'm fearing that I'm not gonna get it or I'm fearing that I'm gonna get it you know does it make sense the need for expectation the moment you have expectations whether expectations that things should look good or expectation that things will fail right regardless that creates some sort of fear uncertain uncertainty right and uh, which leads to obviously anxiety which leads to uh, stress right and that affects your performance that affects your productivity because all what you're thinking about is the final results if you will you know that, that's what you're thinking about it's like hey i should not do this and 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 don't take my words like okay then don't do any expectations you shouldn't have have zero expectations that also if you think about it creates in itself is an expectation right <laughs> i i know it's like it's going a little bit uh it, it, it's becoming a little bit abstract but i think you get my point to a certain extent i think just what we need to do is just as developers as software engineers just try to realize why am i tired why am i exhausted you know why am i stressed why am i having all these mental health issues you know it's just why is my mind going a thousand uh you know miles an hour why am i like this and ask yourself do you want to be in that state you know so some people might be happy their brain always working i'm not but <laughs> but but if you don't if you're not okay with that state then you have to ask you a question it's like why am i in this state what is causing it and then asking the right questions right? 
Is this time frame realistic? Maybe it's not, right? And uh, saying that it's, oh, yeah, it has to be realistic. I'm just not good enough, you know? That comes back to uh, imposter syndrome, which is really another topic if you think about it, right? It's just imposter syndrome. I'm not good enough to do these things, you know? Although you are. But it comes back to just unrealistic expectations, right? Expectation in general from you or from others, uh, working long hours to do something that you're not at all passionate about, you know, versus long working long hours that you don't even feel at the end of the day. All of that combined have a huge toll on the developer productivity you have no idea you might say it's like how was i'm writing code code is just logic you know at the end of the day how would it how would it affect like if, if i'm stressed or not i should be able to write code oh my god <laughs> please don't say that <laughs> because of course it affects you you know the ability to think cleanly if you don't have any strings attached if you're completely free in what you're writing if you're completely flowing, no, just imagine this. You're not attached to anything, right? You're just running with the thing, the task, and you're immersed completely by the task that you're currently working on. And it helps if you're effectively, you know, completely infused with this task, you know, if you're coding if you love what you do obviously it shows up you know and yeah. the problem is sometimes we do things that we don't like to do and we're forced to do it and uh, unfortunately i don't have anything to say to this because that is the worst kind of situations right? I'm, I'm 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 very fortunate that i'm not in this uh, my company we absolutely only work on things that we want to work on. We are never forced to work on something that we we don't want to work on at all. Even if, it, if we have a hint that's, hey, I don't feel, I don't, I don't like working on this at all. Immediately, you can move to any other project. That's, so I'm, I'm kind of lucky in that part of the case, but I, I can't say the same for every single developer out there, right? But so that that's, that's, a, that's definitely... You know, if, if you're feeling you are in a company that has that kind of, you know, work place, you know, model where you're forced to do something and that you're not comfortable with, you know, that you're not enjoying anymore, then maybe it's time to kind of look somewhere else for some, uh, for some task or in the same company even to so work from something that you're interested in. And you absolutely love that just again it comes back to the person itself i cannot tell you anything because i don't know you right you have your own un unique sets of experiences and uh, again guys <laughs> i really apologize if this video is all over the place but it, in an ingenious way this is how you know the mind looks like when you're stress and thinking you're all over the place and this is this is how i was in the last week basically i'm still recovering so apologies for the rambling but i thought i i wanted to make this video while i'm in that i am in that state just so i can communicate all these ideas because next week i'm gonna forget everything uh hope you got anything from this video let me know uh, like dislike uh, i'm gonna see you in the next one you guys stay awesome goodbye